got here, but I'm blessed. Didn't know it take me past my destiny. You're behind me with the rest. Cause I'm a mess. No more you. Today, we are going to be making a Sunday dinner. Yes, I'm about to give these people the VIP treatment. Yes, I am. I know I said in the last, vi the last video that I was such a good person, but I'm still a good person. Yes, I'm doing that. Anyways, before we get into this meal, this whole spread that I'm about to lay out for these people, let's talk about my apron. Child, y'all know my girl? Yesenia. Yes, I know you know her. Yes, she sent me this lovely apron. Yes, she did. Which, y'all, yeah, she got me all the way together. You know, she, child, and it got pockets and everything. Yes, y'all got the pockets. Homegirl did me all the way right. Yes, she did. Thank you, Yesenia. Love you, girl. Mm-hmm. Yes, she did send you, girl, this apron. All right. Yes, and we are going to be very careful with this apron. Yes, we are, because we ain't finna get nothing on it. Anyways, that's neither here nor there. Back over here into what we about to get ready and eat. So let me go on ahead and lay out this menu for y'all. The menu consists of smothered chicken. Yes, I'm about to do it up, y'all, smothered chicken. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have some collard greens, some rice, and some cornbread. Yes, child, and I'm, and, oh, let me not forget it. We're gonna have some lemonade from scratch. Yes, we are, that part. Anyways, now, all of my items are gonna be coming from the iHeart Soul Food. Uh, cookbook. Child, I was about to say magazine. I don't know why I want to do that. What's wrong with me? Anyways, all right, back over here. Uh, so, but what I'm about to get started with first, y'all, is the cake. I make. Did I say I was making the cake? I didn't even say I was making the cake. What's wrong with me, child? Yes, your girl is getting ready to make a red velvet cake. That's what I'm starting off with. I want to go ahead and get my cake in the oven so I can be doing some other things while it's baking. Yes. So. Let's go on ahead and run down these ingredients. Did I say what kind of cake? If I didn't, well, if I did, I'm finna say it again. Red velvet. I told you all I was gonna make that red velvet cake, didn't I? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. I keep, I, I like to keep my word, you know? Sometimes all you got is your word, okay? Now, I told you I was gonna make that cake, now I'm about to get into it. Let's go on ahead and run down these ingredients. Yes, the ingredients. Now, the first thing you are gonna need is two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Bam, flour right there mm -hmm. then you are going to need two teaspoons of unsweetened cocoa powder bam cocoa in the flesh right there mm -hmm. then you're going to need your one teaspoon of kosher salt well i haven't prepared that yet but i'm going to go ahead and do that when it's time to add that in there but i got my kosher salt out here yes i do mm -hmm. next we're going to need one teaspoon of baking soda bam got that right there and we are going to need two eggs at room temperature mm -hmm. got my two eggs right here at room temperature. Yes. All righty then. We're going to need one and a half cups of granulated sugar. Bam. Showing up. Showing out. Sweet. Yes. There we are. Mm-hmm. And you're going to need your one and a half cups of vegetable oil. We got us some vegetable oil. Uh, oil. What is oil? Vegetable oil. This right here. Mm-hmm. Vegetable oil. Real greasy for you. Yep. Then you're going to need your one cup of buttermilk at room temperature. Got me one cup of buttermilk right here. Room temperature, there it is. Mm -hmm. Now, then you are also going to need one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. I've got my vanilla extract right here, but I have not put it in there because I'm going to do that right when it's time to put it in there, okay? Then you're going to need your teaspoon of white distilled vinegar. Yes, vinegar right here, a little teaspoon right there. Mm -hmm. And then you will need one ounce of red food coloring. Got a whole ounce right there for you. Yes, gonna make, gonna, gonna do some things for you. It's gonna change up the game for you. Yes, it is. All right. Then for the frosting, for the frosting, you're gonna need just 16 ounces 
of cream cheese softened, okay? Then you're gonna need just some, uh, uh, you're gonna need a cup of unsalted butter, softened right here, I got that. Two sticks, rather, if, uh, if, in case you want, to, want me to break it down for you. Then you're gonna need eight cups of powdered sugar. I ain't got that out here yet because y'all, I, I really should have just not sat this out here because I'm really not ready for this, but I'm just gonna run down the uh, ingredients for y'all anyway. Then you're gonna need your a tablespoon of whole milk, Left that over here in the refrigerator. We'll get that in a minute. Then you're going to need your two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Once again, vanilla extract. We need you, baby. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, the first thing you got to do is um, uh, preheat that oven. Now, y'all know I love being proactive. So what I did was I went on ahead and I preheated my oven to 325 degrees. So the oven is piping hot right now. Yes, it is. Ready for these cakes to get on in there and do what they got to do. Okay. Then you need to spray two nine inch cake pans with baking spray or grease and flour. Well, I don't see no sense in doing the greasing and flour when all we need to do is bam, use this baker's jar right here that I heard my girl Yesenia and Shanti and Cleosha and them talking about. Yes, I heard them talking about this baker's jar. So I asked Mrs. Silka to go on on ahead and pick me up some, child, because I needed that, I needed that, you know? So yes, let's go on on ahead and uh, get these pans greased real quick. Let's grease them up, because ain't nothing like greasing. That right there, bam, there it is, one grease. Mm-hmm, two grease right there, bam, in the flesh, okay. Now, we can put that over there because we ain't going to need that no more. Let's see what we got going on over here. Let's bring our book back because we didn't want to get any grease on it. So, let's see here. Um, then, what we need to do is in a large mixing bowl. I have me a very large mixing bowl right here. Yes, I do. Very large mixing bowl. We're going to combine the flour. Yes. Let's just let that rest there for a moment. Yes. We're going to combine our flour. Then you need to add your cocoa powder, powder, cocoa, in there. Just change up the game for us. Some salt. Now, they said we need one teaspoon of kosher salt. Bam, one teaspoon. Let's go on here and get that in there. One teaspoon, mm-hmm. Okay, one teaspoon, okay. Add it, salt is up in there. Yes, we, yes it is, salt in there. All right, then you're going to need a uh, raw, what else to say? Baking soda. We're going to add the baking soda over in here. Baking soda in there. Baking soda don't want to come out. Y'all, what's going on with the baking soda? Okay, need a little help? Oh, child, I don't know what's going on there. Anyways, all right. Now, then they, then she says, uh, wait a minute, let, let, let me back up. In a large mixing bowl, combine the flour, cocoa powder, salt, and baking soda. And sift or whisk together. Well, guess what? Thanks to you lovely uh, family members, I have both. But since my whisk is a lot closer, I'm gonna go on ahead and get this whisk over here. Yes, we gonna get this whisk. Cha, we gonna get the whisk and we gonna whisk it together. It say whisk everything together. But before I start whisking, what I'm gonna do is bring you all in closer so y'all can see what I'm doing. All right, y'all, so we got our bowl here with uh, our flour, cocoa powder, and salt, and baking soda, and whatnot. And now, we getting ready to go on ahead and whisk. Yes, child, we just gonna whisk, 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 whisk all this together. Yes, whisk all of it. Make sure everybody's talking and mingling and partying and, and, and carrying on. Yes, just mix all that. Mm -hmm. Whisk it, whisk it, whisk it, whisk, 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 whisk. Okay, all right. I think we have, uh, let me make sure. I wanna make sure everybody is where they supposed to be. All right, everybody need to be in place. Okay, all right, that's good right there. Now it says in a medium bowl, well, let's move this out of the way. They in a medium bowl, let's move the big bowl out the way. All right, now we gonna get us a, a medium bowl right here, bam, medium bowl. They want us to, um, Crack open egg, crack open the eggs and beat them with a whisk. Well, they already in in this bowl, so I'm just gonna put them on over in this bowl right here. Mm hmm Since everybody gonna have to get together and do some things, so let's go on ahead and get it over there. Let me whisk. Let me whisk. Let me whisk this off, child. Let me rinse this whisk off. Mm -hmm. Let's go on ahead and rinse that off. And now they want us to whisk 
the eggs. Yes, they want us to whisk them, beat them, however you want to put it, and then we're going to pull the sugar over here. So let's go on over here and whisk these. I had already mixed them up a little bit, but let's go on over here and whisk, 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 whisk like they want us to do. Okay. All right. Let's just do that like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think that's enough. Bam. Now they want us to pour the sugar and the earl. Uh, one moment. Okay, I had to go grab my earl because I moved it out the way because I need to have my, I need to have a book right here. So they want us, let's move that out the way. They want us to add, what was it? The sugar and the earl and the buttermilk. Sugar. Bam. Sugar. Right there, being all sweet and whatnot. Earl, grease it for you. Then we need to add the buttermilk. Mmm, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Buttermilk has been added. And the vanilla into the bowl. And the vanilla. Now, how much vanilla did they say we needed again? We need one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. One and a half teaspoons. One, mm-hmm. Then we need a half. Let's get all of that first. Then we're gonna need a half a teaspoon, just a half, okay? Half. Bam, half, that part. Now let's put the top back on that, sit that there. And then it says, and mixing using a handheld mixer on low speed until everything is nice and creamy. All right. Come on, baby. Get on down here. Low speed. Do your thing. One moment. I'm a mess. Don't know how I got here. But... All right. Now it says slowly combine the wet ingredients with the dry ingredients in the large bowl. So let's slide this over this way. And then we're gonna get our very, very large bowl. Yes. Okay, we have our large bowl here. And then we need to, let's go on here and switch places because we're gonna need you over here. Yes, we are. Let's maneuver some things. All right, now, so we are going to Slowly combine the wet ingredients with the dry ingredients into the large bowl. Be sure to mix on a low speed. Once everything is just combined, switch from the switch from mixing the cake batter with the handheld mixer. Okay. Once everything is all mixed up and combined and whatnot, then we're gonna switch from the mixer to a spatula. So yes, let's get on in here and let's get us some um, wet ingredients over in here. Let's do that. Okay, slowly add. So we're just gonna add just a little bit, just a little bit, mm-hmm. And then we're gonna do it on a slow speed, okay? Didn't know it take me past my destiny. You're behind me with the rest. Cause I'm a mess. All right, so this is the moment where we are supposed to go on ahead and stop with the mixer 
and fold it in with a spatula. Yes, we are gonna be folding in with a spatula. Let's do this. Have a bit of a mess over here. Let's do it this way. Let's do that there. Yes, and then we are gonna start folding it in with the spatula. Mm-hmm. Fold and we're folding. Fold and we're folding. I guess that's how you fold. I don't know. Uh, anyway, okay. I like to get everything off the sides, you know, fold it in, uh, fold, fold, okay, okay, I, I, I think I'm folding, I don't know, maybe I should have used my spoon, you know, but she says spatula, so I try to do what they tell me to do when it comes to this baking thing, yeah, I better believe once I get, uh, uh once I catch on to it, that's it, I'm doing my own thing, mm-hmm, anyways, now, says pour equal amounts in, um, wait a minute, I, I, I done got ahead of myself. No, no, no. After Once you finish folding and using the spatula, next add the vinegar and red food coloring. All right, we're gonna add vinegar, vinegar. Vinegar is added and then we are gonna add us a little food coloring. Yes, this gonna change up the game right here. Mm -hmm. This gonna do some things for us. Yes, it is. Okay, we got to open it. Child, I thought I had done all this. Okay, well, I'm gonna just leave it a little, cause we gotta add all this anyway, so let's just go on ahead and, ooh, child, y'all see that, y'all see that? Ooh, look what just happened, yes. Red velvet in the making. Velvet is showing up and showing out. Now, we gonna continue to do this right here, cause that's what she said to do. After we add that vinegar, in the uh the food coloring yes we are gonna keep um with um, fold until all of the cake batter is red and there are no streaks no streaks okay folding 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 <laughs> for finishing folding all right now pour an equal amount of batter into each cake pan shake and tap the pans to release any air bubbles then let it sit for five minutes bake the cakes for 25 to 30 minutes remove the cake wait a minute oh remove the cakes from the cake pans and place them on a cooling rack okay all right then Okay, well, we ain't got that far. We just want to get them in the oven. Let me not get ahead of myself. Let me rearrange some things so y'all can see what I'm doing. Okay. All right, y'all. We are getting ready to add. We're going to spread evenly. Mm-hmm. Evenly. Evenly. I hope this evenly. We'll put a little bit right here. But then I'm going to hold up. Let's, let's hold up. Tiff, you're getting a little overzealous. Let's do this right here. Yes. So now that we got our mix evenly in the cake pans, 
we now have to shake and tap the pans to release any air bubbles. And then we gonna, uh, we gonna, we gonna let it sit for five minutes before we put it in the oven. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of little bubbles up in here. So I'm gonna get to shaking and tapping and then I'm gonna let it sit for five minutes and then we gonna get it in the oven, okay? All right. In that high line, time to catch a flight, but you can make me go. Unlocking all the memories of my new home. Ventilated echoes playing to and fro, to and fro. All right, y'all, so as y'all can see, my, uh, my my cakes over there, they're cooling and whatnot. So now, while they're cooling, I am supposed to make the icing. So let's go on ahead and get into that real quick. Yes, let's make this icing, y'all. So um, it says um, in, a, in a, um, a bowl, which I got right here, we need to combine... Cream cheese and butter. I got my cream cheese and my butter already in here. Yes, I do. And then it says, cream the two ingredients together using a handheld mixer. Then slowly add in the powdered sugar. Okay. Um, well, it says oh, slowly add in the powdered sugar one cup at a time. All right. Well, let me go on back over. Let me grab this because I just got finished putting this over here. So they, she said one cup at a time and then i'm gonna add in the milk and the vanilla all right let me go on on ahead and get this creamed okay oh child i unplugged it y'all wow okay tiff anyways make sure that's off because that would be a disaster all right let's get it creamed y'all tell me how you feel it when you hear the lyric yeah my heart's in stock All right, so we got this all nice and creamy, and I'm ready to go on ahead and start adding in my powdered sugar one cup at a time. So let's get it popping. She said, I already told you, yeah, yeah. I never dated a black guy. I said, you brown yourself. All right, y'all. I got all eight of them added in there. I didn't show it, but uh, yeah, I just wanted y'all to get the gist of it. We got all eight added in here. And boy, let me tell you, my arm is on weak right now. Yes, it is. It is burning. Anyways, that's neither here nor there. Back over here into getting this frosting together, y'all. So we done got the powder sugar and all of that stuff up in there. And then now we're going to add in the milk and the vanilla. Now, I forget how much milk they say we need, so let me flip back over here. One tablespoon of whole milk. One tablespoon. Let's shake that up a little bit. Shake, shake, shake. Yes. Shake, shake, shake. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, child, I'm not gonna, I didn't see that over there. One tablespoon of whole milk. One tablespoon. Okay. One tablespoon. Add it. All right. Let's close that up. Then you're going to need... What else? What was it? The vanilla. And we need two teaspoons of vanilla extract. 
two teaspoons. Let me rinse that off real quick. Okay. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract. That's what we're gonna need. Two teaspoons. All right. Bam. Let's get that going. Two of them. One. Two. Bam. There it is. Don't get no better than that. That part. Mm -hmm. Well, let's close that up because we don't want any mishaps. Yes. All right. So we got the milk and the vanilla up in here. Now it says mix until the frosting is nice and creamy. Once the cakes are completely cool, then we gonna frost them. So let me go on ahead and mix this up real quick. All right, y'all, so um, we finished with the icing. We got that made up and everything. And now we're going to go on ahead and get this cake ice. So uh, cake ice. We gonna, that don't even sound right. Anyway, we're going uh, to put some icing on this cake. Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. We're going to put some icing on this cake, child. Yes, the kids, they came in here. They, uh, they loved it. Now, I'm just going to spread like this, and then I'm going to take my knife and do the rest. Yes. Rest, yes, that part. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. We just gonna spread and spread. Mm -hmm. Now I can't remember. I think she did the sides of. I think she did the sides once she actually got it on there. You know. When she got the top layer on there, I think she went on ahead and did the sides. That's what I think she did. I need to check real quick. Cause, you know, this is my favorite cake and I want it right. Yes, I do. I want it right. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, y'all. Let me double check real quick and I'm gonna be right back with you so we can get this top layer frosted, iced, Whatever. We gonna put some stuff on there. I'll be right back with you. Okay, y'all. So she didn't do the sides, but really and truly, it don't matter because them sides gonna get done eventually. But she did the top. Uh, I mean, the first layer. She iced that one first, and then she brought the other one in. So um, I'm, I'm, I think I'm pretty good over here. She was a little generous. Now I like icing, but uh, I don't want it to. I don't want to have like a mouth full at one time. So. Um, anyhow, that's neither here nor there. Let's go on ahead and put this other, um, this other layer on here. Yes. Bam. Let's get that on there and let's get it, get, let's get it popping. Let's get it popping. Popping. Yes. We are going to get it popping. Mm-hmm. Yes. That's so, good, thank you. Thank you, sir. That's sick of y'all. He's outside getting, doing some things to the back porch. It seems like my cake is sliding. I don't appreciate it. One moment. Uh, I'm going to get them sides eventually. I, I'm just going to do the best I can because this is my first time and I'm trying it. I'm doing it. Whatever. Doing the best I can. You know, whenever you, whenever they look at that. Anyway, whenever they do something and then you try to do it, it never turns out quite the same. Which, that's fine, because I ain't rosy. You know, I'm Tiff. I bet they're going to eat this cake. I bet they're going to okay, eat Okay, y'all, I had to go back, <clears throat> excuse me, and check out her video. And I realized what I did wrong. I didn't fill it in right there. She filled hers in. And I'm like, okay, okay. You know, I missed that part. My bad. But I'm going to make it do what it do anyhow. Y'all know Tiff will not be defeated. No, I will not. So, anyway, we're going to go on here and get the rest of this cake iced, okay? Um, You know, I'm doing the best I can. And once again, y'all know, your girl ain't shame. It be like that sometimes. Mm-hmm. Anyways. All right. Let me get this cake iced real quick. Like I said, I bet you they going to eat it. My heart is
shoulda, but you got sunlight that always stays. Ain't about the water way. All right, y'all. As you can see, the cake is done. Child, we did the best we could with that doggone cake. Anyways, now I, I, I baked it and whatnot, but when it came to that icing, mm -mm, the icing was not my strong point. And I ain't ashamed to say that, mm -mm, but I bet you they're going to eat it. It is what it is, that part. Anyway, let's go on ahead and get into the rest of this meal. So I'm going to go on ahead and get my greens on and whatnot. Then that way I get started on my chicken. So let me run down the ingredients that you're going to need for the collard greens. Now you're going to need uh, a pound of bacon. What did she say? A pound of bacon ends chopped. Um, Y'all uh, know me. I love proactiveness. So I went on ahead and uh, put my bacon over in the pot and I went on ahead and cut it up and whatnot. And so um, now we're going to get on back over here into the rest of the ingredients and whatnot. So you need one large yellow onion. Yes, one large yellow onion dice. Once again, Y'all know your girl. I love being proactive. So I went on ahead and diced up that onion and made it do what it do, that part. Anyway, all right. So we got the onion right here and a little bit left over. That right there. Anyways, all righty then. Then you're going to need about uh, how much? six cups of chicken broth. Well, I'm going to wait till I get over there and pull that. I, ain't, I haven't gotten that. I, I have not prepared that yet. So I'm going to wait till I get on over there to pull that in there. Mm-hmm. Then you're going to need two cups of water. We got plenty of that. You're going to need four pounds of collard greens cleaned and cut. Mine over here um, in the uh, the sink right now. They are still soaking because you know your girl love proactiveness. So I went on ahead and I cleaned them greens up. You know, put them over there in some water. Then I put some salt over in there, you know, kind of help uh, remove whatever else the people didn't remove. That part. Mm -hmm. So now... Here, here you are. There they are. They're good to go. And now we back over here and uh, we're going to need a teaspoon of seasoning salt. Then you're going to need a half a teaspoon of ground black pepper. And then you're going to need one large jalapeno. Mm -hmm. One large jalapeno pepper. I know it's jalapeno. I know what it is, but y'all know me. I don't never say stuff the way it's supposed to be said. That's just, that's tip. That's me. That's what I do. Okay. So once again, I want y'all to hear me and hear me well. You're going to need one jalapeno pepper sliced, okay? Now, I ain't going to get overzealous and put that whole pepper in there because I think that's a bit much. You know, I like a little a little, um, a little, little spice, a little tang every now and then, but I don't want it to blow me away, okay? I don't want to go into some kind of health crisis. All right, anyways, back over here into this last ingredient. You're going to need two to three tablespoons of distilled white vinegar. Yes, two tablespoons, okay? Two to three tablespoons, rather. Now, y'all, I know how to make greens. I know how to make collards. I do. But I want to try rosy collard greens. Yes, I do. So, we're going to make them today. So, what we're going to do is get on into this first step here. Now, the first step say in a stock pot over medium heat, brown the bacon. Well, clearly, we can't do that over here. So, we're going to have to make a trip over to the other side of the kitchen. All righty then. I'll see you when we get there. So as you can see, I got my bacon already in there, like I told you. And we're going to put this on medium high heat, okay? Medium high. All right, so I'm going to put that in between the, the, the four and the six. Yes, all right. So once that get to pop popping and sizz sizzling, I'll be right back with you. Okay, okay. All right, y'all, we got a little sizzle sizzle going on right here. And we're trying to get the uh, bacon to brown. Once it browns, we're going to add the onions over in here until they start to sweat. That's what she said, child. Whatever that means. They're going to be sweating it. And you'd be sweating too if you go over there inside this pot. Child, bye. Anyway, however. You know, that part. So, trying to get them brown so we can add the onions and the minced garlic. Yes, indeed. All right. We're still sizzling. So, Give me a minute, and once again, once again, I'm going to be back with you, okay? Okay. All right, y'all, they are brown, so let's go on ahead and get these onions up in here. Yes, onions. That part. Mm-hmm, sizzle, sizzle. I know I've been using all of that. 
Yes, indeed. Mm-hmm. That's essence. Essence. You see that essence? Ooh, child, without the smell of essence. Ain't nothing like staring it with some tongues, though. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Don't smell good? Mm-hmm. Yes, indeed. So, we're going to, as you say, when they start sweating, we're going to add the garlic. Yeah, Key, they already sweating. They hot. They, they sweating. You see where they at? You see where they at? They ain't got no choice but to sweat. Shy, bye. I sweat when I ain't hot, so welcome to my world. Hmm. That part. Did that come out right? I sweat when I ain't hot. Don't even right. Wait a minute. I sweat. I was referring to the, the to the person of Summer. Uh, in other words, there don't really be no reason for me to be doing all that. You know, I don't be moving around and being in no heat and whatnot, and the hot flashes just come out of nowhere. Ooh, child, they get on my nerves. Anyways, all right, well, uh, I think we can go on ahead and put the, the garlic up in there, but I think what I got in this bowl is say a, I think it's a teaspoon of salt over here, and uh, this, this more than a teaspoon, I know that for sure. Uh, how much I got in here? Yeah, I just need a teaspoon of the minced garlic. Just a teaspoon, so we're just going to gather us a little bit. Bam, that's about a teaspoon, you know. Bam, just add that. Remember, a little extra, extra that's all. That's it, just a little extra. Mm -hmm. See that right there? Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. A little extra. Y'all know I don't follow the rules. I just do what I do. Mm -hmm. We cooking now. We ain't baking. Mm -mm. We, ba we cooking. We are not baking. When I'm baking, rules are out the door. I just use the recipe as a guide. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, we got that essence going. Uh, I know. Say, just cook for one more minute. We're not finna do that. We finna go on ahead and add that. Uh, Cause I know it's been about 60 seconds since I've been stirring this with this with these tongues. Okay. So I'm about to go on ahead and add this chicken broth. I think that's what she want me to add. But one moment. Let me pour it. Dad, and pour it in the chicken broth. Yeah. So I got... I'm gonna need six cups, you know, but I got two of them right here. Okay, let me switch hands because I'm right-handed. So, uh, mm-hmm, yeah. I done cooked greens before. I know what I'm doing on the chin. Uh, yes, indeed. That right there. Ooh, yes. Smell it. Let me, let me stir that around, and we're gonna because we got four more cups. We got to add, okay? Because they say two of them now. We got to add two. You know, I don't, I use it, I don't do, let me let y'all loose because there's some stuff in there. Let me switch out. Let me switch and get something else to stir with uh, so I don't be looking crazy. Let me go on ahead and add my other cups of uh, chicken broth. That was two. Now we're going to need us two more. Two of them. Child, wait a minute. I got to switch hands. I got to switch. Switch. That's fine. Okay, that's enough. That's enough of that. Bam, there it is. Six cups of chicken broth has been added. Now, let me do a little stir, stir up in here. Okay, a little stir, stir. Yes, a little stir, stir. Mm -hmm. Hope we have enough room for the greens. Try bye. Mm -hmm, look at that. Yes. Okay. Say the it say the uh boil this for 20 minutes. Yeah, and then we gotta add some water. So uh once this get to burning uh in 20 minutes, I'll be back with you. Alright, y'all. It's boiling. It's been about 20, give or take. Uh more like take anyway. So um we're gonna go on ahead and, and add in uh the two cups of water that she requested. There it is, two cups. And now we're gonna turn the heat down. She say, turn it down, turn it down. And then we're gonna start adding these collets over in here. I don't know where the room gonna come from, but we'll figure it out. Lord, I hope I ain't got to switch this pot out in any ways. All right, all right, y'all. One moment. Okay, that's one bunch. Gotta add them in, you know, 
let that cook down. But I think I can get one more in there, one more. For what's coming in here. That right there. Mm-hmm. We're gonna let that cook down. And we're gonna add another one. But I think I can get one more up there. I think I can get one more up there. Because they're going to cook down. You know they're going to cook down. I can get another one up there. One moment. Mm -hmm. You know they're going to cook down. Why waste all that time not putting it in there? Child, I can probably get all of them in there. Just mash. Yep, just mash that down in there. Mm -hmm. Mash it. Yep, look at that. Mm-hmm, we did that. Yes, we did. See? That's all you got to do. Mm -hmm. That's all you got to do. That part. Look at look at that. We are done. Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we, at this point, we got to put, uh, well, let me see what she say. Because at this point, this is when I put the top on and let it cook down for a little bit. Let me see what Rosa got in mind. So, we got the greens over in there. Um, then she said, once all the greens are added, sprinkle in the seasoning salt and ground black pepper. Okay, one moment. We got all that in there. Do not get overzealous with this salt. This is the pepper. Do not get overzealous with this salt. Can y'all hear me over this machine? I hope y'all heard me. Do not get overzealous, okay? We're gonna put some salt in there. Now that's enough of that, okay? That's, a, that's more than enough. Now, for right now, okay? Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to Move that around a little bit, and then uh, I'm gonna put the top on it, you know, and then we're gonna let it cook. Yes, we're gonna let it simmer and do what it does, okay? Mm hmm. Yes, we're gonna let it do what it does. And once these cook down, I sure hope we got enough left for more than two people because y'all know collard greens be doing the most. Mm hmm. Anyways, all right, yes, that is nothing but essence. Look at that. She didn't tell me to do this, but hey, anyways, I'm doing it because that looks so tasty. These gonna be good. Yes, they are. All right, moving right along. We'll be back with you, huh? Bye, bye now. Oh, my bad. One moment. I forgot we needed about two to three tablespoons of distilled white vinegar. So I'm not finna measure that. I just pour. That's that's about it. That's about enough right there. That's good enough right there. That's all you need. And then you gotta add you some jalapenos, okay? But what I'm not finna do is add a whole jalapeno. I'm not finna do that. You see this right here? You see that? That's more than enough. Bam, there it is. And then we were supposed to stir it, but it doesn't matter what order it goes in. So we're gonna stir, stir, and stir. Okay, and we're going to stir. Now, the jalapeno done got lost in all that essence. Let it do what it do. And I hope I don't be on fire when it's time to chew, 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 okay? Child, I'm gonna pour it and don't know it. Mm, mm, look at me. I, you, let me get some of these out because I don't like them big. Yeah, let me take that out. Mm -hmm, thought I got them all. Okay, anyways. All right, y'all. That's, uh, that's a wrap. We finna get started on this chicken. One moment. All right, y'all. So, uh, we got the greens over there uh, doing their thing. And let me tell you, they smell amazing. It smells so good up in here. Yes, it does. But anyways, we are about to get on into this smothered chicken. Mm -hmm. That's what we getting ready to do. Now, um, you gonna need you um, one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. You're gonna need your one tablespoon of garlic powder. Wait a minute, did I, okay, one moment. Let me back that up. You're gonna need your one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. I forgot, and we have that right here. Yes, we do, one and a half cups, okay? Sorry about that. What's wrong with me? Uh, then you're gonna need one tablespoon of garlic powder. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that together when, I, when it's time to add that in there. Uh, you're gonna need one tablespoon of Onion powder, right there, bam, onion. Then you're gonna need your one teaspoon of kosher salt. Bam, kosher salt, we're gonna, we're gonna get that together, right there. Mm -hmm. Then you're gonna need you some ground black pepper. Bam, there it is, in the flesh. Then you're gonna need you some poultry seasoning. Bam, poultry showing up. Yes, he is. First time for everything, because I ain't never, you never been here before, welcome. Anyways, um, celery seed. Another first timer. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the family. Anyways, then you're gonna need you some smoked paprika. Well, I used to have some smoke. Don't know what happened, but we got paprika. So anyway, he gonna do what he do. Anyway, next you're gonna need you about a pound of chicken pieces. Well, I got a little bit more over here because y'all know how I am. 
I be wanting these people to have some leftovers, okay? So I added a little more flour. Now they say you need one and a half, okay? I got a little bit more than a pound of uh, chicken pieces right here. So instead of the one and a half cups, child, I probably got about two, maybe two and a half. I don't know, but it's in there. It's, it's gonna be enough for me to do what I need to do, okay? That part. Anyways, now, then you need, uh, what I say? Okay, you're gonna need a half a cup of vegetable oil, all right? But that's probably, that's I'm sure that's for uh, putting that in the pan. So, it, here it is, right here, real greasy. We're going, it's gonna help us do what it do. It's gonna slide or something, make, make, slide around that pan and do what it do. Next, you're gonna need your one medium yellow onion chopped. Bam, onion right there, chopped up, real good. Mm -hmm. Two cups of chicken broth. Well, got my chicken broth over there. Uh, it's about two cups left up in there. And then you're gonna need one cup of whole milk. Uh, where I got my whole milk right here. Yes, I do. Whole and everything. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now, then you're gonna need, they say for a garnish, you're gonna need to chop you some parsley. It could be fresh. Mine ain't fresh, it never is anyways. All right, now, now it's saying a large bowl. Got my large bowl right here. Once again, large bowl, combine the flour. All right, we got, I already got my flour in here, okay? Then it's a garlic. I'm just gonna sprinkle, 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 that's enough. Don't get overzealous with this stuff now, with these seasons. Told you, keep your family from going to some kind of health crisis. Nah. Then you're gonna need you some onion powders right here. Onion. Spank, 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 spank. That's enough. Do not, I repeat, do not get overzealous. Okay? Nah. I'm, I'm, I don't wanna have to keep having this conversation with y'all. All right. Then they say you're gonna need uh, some salt and black pepper. All right, we just gonna put them two in there at the same time. Okay? Bam. There it is. Woo, child, we doing it now. Ain't nothing like technology. Bam, there it is. That's enough of that. All right, salt and black pepper has been added. Now we got to add some celery seed. They say we need one teaspoon of this celery seed. Just one. Just one now. Let me see, because I know you know, it's never been open, because this is his first time here, so we got to open him up. Mm -hmm. We got to open him up. And what I'm not going to do is just sprinkle him over in here. I'm not going to guess. I'm going to actually measure this one out. No, I'm not. I'm going to just go in here and sprinkle it in there. I can eyeball it. <clears throat> what they say? Uh, a, a teaspoon? Okay, teaspoon. That's about it. Right there, a teaspoon. Mm -hmm. That's all you need. Then what they say we need? One teaspoon of, uh, I mean, the, the poultry seasoning. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to open him up too because he ain't never been here either. Mm -hmm. Let's see. One moment. I'm struggling. Bear with me. Celery seed. They say one teaspoon. Okay, bam. That's about one teaspoon. That's enough of that right there. Mm -hmm. you, ain't got to, you ain't got to go crazy. All right, then you're going to need your one teaspoon of smoked paprika. Just one. Just one. Okay, that's enough of that. All right. Now, then you are going to uh, mix until well incorporated. That, okay, now I got to give me something to mix this stuff up with. Let's see here. What do I want to use, y'all? Let me just go ahead and grab my trusty, my trusty uh, stirring apparatus. Yes, my trusty stirring apparatus right there. Okay, now we've mixed that up. Everybody is mingling, talking, having a party. Hey, how you doing? Celery, meat, poultry, poultry, meat, onion, garlic, all that. that yep. Next. All right, now we got all that mixed up very well. In a large pan over medium heat, add the oil. Well, clearly, stove ain't right here. We cannot do that over here. So we're going to have to take a trip back over there. I know I'm tired of going over there too. So anyway, don't even worry about it. Let's just get on over there and do what we do. Next. All right, y'all. Let me go on ahead and add me some oil over in here. Oh, that's about it right there. So I can get my... My chicken going, as you can see, I have my chicken coated already. And uh, we are gonna wait for this to heat up so we can put this chicken in here and cook it up. Yes, that part. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, let me see. In the large pan over medium, add the oil. We didn't add it to oil. Start adding the chicken, but be sure, be sure not to overcrowd this pan, okay? You don't wanna add it, you don't wanna do that. Do not overcrowd this pan, okay? Use a big enough pan to hold all the chicken or cook the chicken in batches, which I'll probably have to cook mine in batches because clearly mine ain't big enough anyway. Now, 
Then it says, cook the chicken until it's golden brown, about seven minutes. But don't worry about cooking the chicken until it's done. Wait a minute. Because we will cook some. Oh, it's going to cook some more later. Okay, I got it. I was about to say. Once the chicken is nicely browned, remove it from the pan and transfer it to a plate covered with paper towels. Leave the oil in the pan. But we ain't got that far yet. But soon as this oil heats up, we're going to get this chicken in here. So one moment. All right, y'all, I think uh, I think we good and warm right about now. So let's go on in and get this chicken over here. Might be a little too warm. Let's turn that down a little bit. Let's see. Hey, hey, hey. Let's add that in there. Remember she said, do not overcrowd the pot. Child. Mm-hmm. Don't overcrowd it. Sizzle, sizzle. You look so good. In my sweater, winter is my favorite weather. Cause it brings you close, and I need you close. Yeah, wish we could stay here forever. Each day you keep getting better. Gotta love you close. All right, y'all, I got my uh, my chicken on a uh, plate here on a paper towel. So now it's time for me to toss in the onions. Sizzle, sizzle. I'm going to get all of that. Mm -hmm. Toss in the onions. Put that, let that go around in there. She said, leave the oil in the pan. Yes, leave the oil in there. She said, leave the earl in the pan. So the earl is in there. It look like we need a little more earl in the pan because it ain't hardly nothing in there right now. Anyway, so uh, we toss in the onions. We're going to cook them for about two minutes. And then uh, we're going to add in the garlic for an additional minute. Yes, indeed. All right, let's go on ahead and get these uh, going so we can get this uh, garlic added up in here. All right, y'all, well, it has been about two minutes, give or take, and we're about to go on in here to get this garlic over in here. Yep. Garlic has been added. Sizzle, sizzle. Yeah, we doing it now. Y'all hear that? Mm-hmm. Said, let cook for an additional minute. Ooh, child. I thought this was going to be a quick meal. Mm-mm, not today, too. All right, well, let me give it about 60 seconds, and I'll be back with you again. Bye-bye. All right, y'all, it's, it, um, uh, okay, it's, it's time to go on ahead and remove this. So let's go on ahead and get that over in here real quick. Bam. Bam. One more should do it. Bam. There it is. All right, we got that over there. Then it say for us to uh, remove the onions and garlic, add three tablespoons of the remaining seasoned flour. Three tablespoons. Well, let's see here. Let's see what we got. Three tablespoons. Three of them. One, two, three. Bam. There it is. Three of them is up in there. Yes, it is. Three of them. Then it says, um, stir into the oil over medium heat. Good job, I ain't no oil in here. Let me add just a little smidge. Bam, little smidge right there. Stir into the oil. We're going to use this spoon right here. Stir into the oil. Okay. Stir into the oil. It's on medium. Yes, it is. Stir into the oil. We are stirring, stirring, stirring. Mm-hmm. I got to go over here. I'm trying to look and see. Mm -hmm. Pour in the chicken broth. All right. Yes. There it is. Chicken broth has been poured. Mm-hmm. Chicken broth has been poured. Now, I think I, at this point I'm supposed to be whisking. So let me grab my trusty whisk apparatus so I can um, get that in there because they say they don't want us to have no lumps. So we got to whisk it, right? Is that, I'm making sure 
Yes. She said, pour in the chicken broth, wild whiskey. Okay, well, I didn't do that part, but anyway, so it's in there. And we gonna whisk it. Cause we don't want no lumps. There's no it's getting on my nerves. Probably getting on y'all's too, but it's, it's a process, y'all. It's a process. Trust the process. Mm-hmm. That part. That part. Y'all, this hot thing over this soul. It is hot, or I'm finna have a personal moment. Ooh, child, it could be a combination of both. Lord. Okay, I think we have no lumps left. Praise the Lord. Lumps are done. Then it says, pour the milk into the pan. Milk. Milk is on the way. Yes, it is. Milk. Milk has arrived. Won't he do it? The milk has arrived. That right there. Mm -hmm. The milk has arrived. Let's stir that around a little something, something. Let's just stir that up. Stir. After the milk, let the creamy gravy cook for three minutes. Then start adding the chicken, onions, and the garlic back into the pan. All right, in three minutes, I'll be back with you. All right, y'all, so now, it's been uh, three minutes. My stuff is burling. So I'm about to go on ahead and put these onions and this garlic back over in here. Mm -hmm. Let's get that in there real quick. Yup, let's get that in there. And then I'm going to start adding my chicken so we can make it do what it do. That part. Mm -hmm. Yes. Let's just, uh-oh. Got a little, had a little, little, little mishap right here. Little mishap. Wipe that up. All right. Mm -hmm. Now. We got that in there. Now we are going to start adding our chicken. We're going to add the chicken. All right, chicken is going in, okay? One chicken. Mm-hmm. Two chicken. Three. All add right. our chicken in there. Place a lid on the pan and cook the chicken for 30 to 35 minutes over medium heat. Be sure to occasionally turn the chicken. You gotta turn it occasionally now, okay? Then once it's done, garnish with parsley and serve the chicken with rice or mashed potatoes. Let me let me put my top on here. Top has been added. We're gonna let that cook. Okay, alrighty then. All right, y'all. Well, we got our uh, chicken and all of that greens, everything going over there, uh, over yonder and whatnot. And now, last thing we gonna make is this uh, cornbread. Yes, and once again, I think I already told y'all, everything was coming out of the iHeart Soul Food. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, we're about to make Rose's sweet cornbread. Yes, we are. Let's go on ahead and run down these ingredients so we can get this cornbread made so these people up again can eat because they're looking at me like they're crazy. They're they looking at me like they didn't just eat yesterday. Anyways, all right. So, the ingredients that you're going to need is a half a cup of vegetable oil. Bam. We got that right here. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to need three cups of of all-purpose flavor. Mm -hmm. Got us some all-purpose flavor right here in this bowl. Yes, we do. Bam. Now, you're going to need one cup of yellow kernel meal. Kern meal in the flesh right there. Bam. Yes, it is. Then you're going to need your one cup of granulated sugar. Sugar, just sweet as it want to be right there. Mm -hmm. We got you covered. All right. Then, after that sugar right there, you're going to need just some Brown sugar, you're going to need a half a cup of brown sugar, even sweeter. They got you covered. Yes, they want you to be real, real sweet. This is not diet friendly, okay? Anyways, one tablespoon of baking powder. Well, I'm going to get that together in a minute, but we got our baking powder right here. Yes, we do. Bam. All right. Then you're going to need one teaspoon of kosher salt. Got my kosher salt right there. Bam. Mm -hmm. Kosher salt right there. Yes, I do. I'm going to get that together in one moment, okay? All right. Now, we're going to need... Four medium eggs. We got our four medium eggs right here in the bowl. Mm -hmm, that part. And then you're going to need two and a half cups of milk. Well, I got my milk right here. I got two cups, and I'm going to get the other half together in just one moment. All right? Then you're going to need one cup. Well, if you want me to break it down for you, that will be two sticks of butter softened, okay? You got to have it softened. All right. Now, they want you to preheat that oven to 350. I done went on ahead and been practicing. That oven is already piping hot. We ain't got to do nothing else with that, all right? Then, they say lightly oil, okay? Well, in my case, lightly oil, lightly oil, 
um, a 9 by 13 baking dish or a 12 inch cast iron skillet. Bam. Thanks to my mother, I'm covered. Yes. Thank you, mom. You did so good to me. Love you. Mm -hmm. Anyways, back over here. Now, in a large mixing bowl, we got a mixing bowl. It's large enough. Mixing bowl right here. In a large mixing bowl, we want to combine the flour. Flour is already in there. Then we're going to combine the cornmeal. So let's go on ahead and get cornmeal up in that corn right there. Meal. Bam. There it is. Cornmeal has been added. All right. Then you want to add the sugars. So that means we are going to add granulated and brown. How y'all doing? Bam. Get on up in there. Do what you do best. Yes. Making it sweet for us. Mm-hmm. All right. Then we're going to need some baking powder. Now we're going to need one tablespoon of baking powder. Let's go on ahead and get that in here. One tablespoon. A table. Mm -hmm. One tablespoon right here. Make sure you got the right measurement now because you don't want to get bacon. You don't want to get overzealous, okay? Now, one tablespoon. Bam, there it is. We got that in there. Baking powder has been added, okay? Move that to the side because we don't need that no more. Then you're going to need one teaspoon of kosher salt. All right, let's get on in here. Teaspoon kosher in here. All right, teaspoon. Teaspoon, we looking for you. We look, teaspoon has showed up right there. One teaspoon. Bam, don't get over zealous. All right, there it is. Mm -hmm. Did what you had to do. We don't need you no more. Bye bye now. All right, now you're going to need, uh, what else? It looks like that's it. Once the dry ingredients are well incorporated, add the eggs, milk, butter, and vegetable oil. And we're going to mix into everything that's combined. So everything that you see that's left up here, this is what we are going to put in the bowl. But first, let me gather something so I can mix this up. I'm just going to whisk it together. Let me grab my trusted whisking apparatus. Yes. Bam. You see that? Let me go in here and get that in there. Mm-hmm. We just going to mix that. Mix, 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 mix. Whisk, 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 whisk. Okay. So that everybody can be doing their part. Mm-hmm. We want everybody to do a part. Mm-hmm. We want everybody to have to do more than what they're supposed to be doing. Okay. All right, we got everybody in there mixing, mixing, mixing. Wait a minute, one lump right there. We got to get that out. All right, we got that lump taken care of. All right, the lump has been extracted, that part. Now, all right, so now we got to go on ahead and add our wet ingredients because that's what she said to do. So we got this flour here, and now, once again, we got to go on ahead and incorporate the wet ingredients. I can say that. So now we're going to add the eggs. Eggs. Do your thing, baby. Eggs. Uh-oh. Here we go. Had a little mishap. Can't get over those. I was a little heavy-handed, but that's okay. I was born that way. Anyways, all right. Let me, let me wipe that up. Okay. We want to keep our area nice and clean. Yes, we do. We don't want the people to think we are nasty cook, okay? Because we are not that. All right. That is clean. Back over here. We got the eggs in there. Then we're going to add the milk. Now, I told you I got two cups right here. I'm going to have to add me another half, all right? Two cups of milk because that's what it says. Two and a half cups of whole milk. Not half milk, whole milk, okay? Two cups have been added. Now let's go on ahead and get that half in there. Shake it up a little bit, you know. Make sure ain't nothing is separated. We need a half a cup, just a half, okay? Just a half. If you want me to break it down for you, that'd be about four ounces, okay? About four ounces, all right? There it is. Bam, we're going to go ahead and... That's it. Milk the deal we had to do. All right. Milk played this part. And we got a little spill. Let's wipe that up. We want to keep our area nice and clean. Yes, we do. Okay. All right. That's clean. All righty then. So we got the milk. Now we're going to add the butter and the vegetable herb. Now my butter over here doing a little something, something because it's already starting to melt because it's been, it's, it's, uh, what they say it need to be? Softened. It's softened. So it was doing a little, it's doing a bit much over here. Okay, so let me get that in there. You need two sticks of them now. Two sticks. Okay, two sticks of butter. Butter. We're going to put that in the trash. We never put that one in there. That one is overflowing at this point. Because I've been doing a lot of cooking today. Yes, I have. Been doing a whole lot. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, let's go ahead and get this one in here. Yes. Butter, butter. All right, the butter has been added. Then we're going to add, uh-oh, we're not putting that down. Then we're going to add the herb, okay? But let me rinse my fingertips off because that was a bit much right there. Mm -hmm. That's a little greasy. But it ain't nothing wrong with a little moisturization. Ain't nothing wrong with a little moisturization, all right? The fingertips, 
have been rinsed. We got our butter in there. Now we're going to add us, just rub that in real quick. Now we're going to add us some, uh, the earl. The earl is going to go in here, okay? Earl. All right. Now, what's, what we're what we about to do now is mix until everything is combined. Let me get a spoon. Let me get my trusty mixing apparatus. This right here. Mm -hmm. And then we're just going to get to mixing. Now, did they say I needed to use a hand mixer? Because this is, this is a lot that's in this bowl. But that's all right. You know, too, she's going to work it out. Mm -hmm. So, uh, let's, but don't get overzealous. You got to go slow because it's a lot of ingredients in here. It's a lot of ingredients in here for some cornbread, child. But I bet it's going to be good. Mm -hmm. And my family, they're going to eat it. Yes, they are. Mm -hmm. So, let's get to mixing. That part. All right, we are mixing. My mama, we got to get past that butter because that butter was kind of thick, child. Ooh, that butter thick. Butter doing too much. Give me just to see better. All right, now. Okay. We in there. Well, somewhat in there. We, we, we getting there. Bear with me. Okay. Bear with me. Nah. Let me look at, let me see if I can do two things at once while I'm trying to mix this up because this is really killing my arm right about now okay uh so after i finish mixing this i'm gonna pour the cornbread batter into the baking dish or skillet and we're gonna bake it for 35 to 40 minutes and then we're gonna serve that's what we're gonna do yes we are so this it right here all we need to do is get this in the uh in this cast iron skillet right here mm -hmm. and then we're gonna get it in the oven Yep, baking it at 350. Now, just to all, uh, let you all know, because I know I haven't said it, all of these, uh, everything, well, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna put her link down there. Everything that I cooked in this video, you can go in there and put it in the search. You wanna know about the cornbread? Put it in sweet cornbread, okay? You go to Our Heart Recipes, because y'all, I've been trying to link the actual recipe, but it ain't working out for me. I'm doing something wrong. I don't know, I'm about to ask somebody. But uh, what you need to do is just go on her website, go to I Heart Recipes. One more time, iheartrecipes.com. Yes. And when you get on that website, when it comes up, you find a little search engine up there, okay? When you get to the little search engine, that little circle up there, when you get up there, you type in sweet cornbread, okay? And it's going to come up, and you just follow the directions, okay? At your convenience, all right? Uh, that, that will be for everything. You want to put in smothered chicken, yes, and you want to put in... Um, what else we fixed? The collard greens. Yes, put that in there. Put that up there. It's going to come up for you. Because I don't know why I can't link them individually. I don't know what's wrong with me. I can't figure it out. But anyways, uh, that part. So let me go ahead and finish mixing this up because my arm is tired at this, at, at this point. And I'm gonna, next time y'all see it, I'm going to just show the spread. I'm going to put this in the oven. That's a wrap. That part. Mm -hmm. I'm a mess Don't know how I got here But I'm blessed Didn't know it Take me past my destiny You're behind me With the rest Cause I'm a mess No more you Well y'all The dinner was a hit I did that once again, I did that. Yes, I did. Yes, you did. Mm hmm Look at that. Y'all, <clears throat> you see, see the plate. Y'all, I was, we were so busy chewing that I didn't even, and we didn't already, um, we didn't already ate the cake. I forgot. I forgot. I said, Lord, I done cut the cake and ain't even show it, but there it is in the back. It's a, you see, it's a lot gone. Me, Silky, Cameron. Yeah, child, we tore it up and it was good. Everything was amazing. Yes, it was. Um, but um, I'm not going to prolong this because, like I said, you see our plates. And I'm finna go on ahead and close it out because your girl is tired. I'm feeling a little, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the, the lighting right here is not really good. It's a little, make it look cloudy or something right here. I don't know. Anyway, y'all, um, I'm feeling a little, a little under the weather. So I'm finna go on ahead and close this out, y'all, so I can go uh, take me a shiver. And uh, me and Siki going to get this kitchen cleaned. And what not. So, y'all, y'all already know what I'm about to say. Like always, 
all good things come to an end. I hope y'all enjoyed the meal that I prefer. Pre Prefer. What is prefer? <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed the meal that I prefer. Y'all, I got to find a better lighting situation. There we go. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I hope y'all enjoyed the meal that I prefer. Right, anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed the meal that I prepared. And hopefully, y'all will try it. Once again, I, have, I, I will leave her link down in, in the description box. And you can just go in there and search for everything that I made today. It was the um, sweet cornbread, the uh, red velvet cake. Um, what else did I make y'all? Um, the collard greens and the smothered chicken. So y'all can just go in there and search and it'll come right on up for you. But once again, um, what was I saying? Like always. Oh yeah, like always, all good things come to an end. I hope y'all enjoyed the meal that I prepared. Um, y'all make sure you subscribe with your bells turned on because there's always more to come. And I think that's all I need to say, y'all. Like yeah, I think that's it. All right, now, y'all be blessed. Thanks for watching, and we'll see y'all in the next one.